how to hide root use your banking apps using magisk version 24.1 stable and shamiko hey peeps what's up manchi here back with another video and those of you who do not know magisk version 24.1 stable was released a few days back magisk hide has been removed which means that some of your banking apps might not be working even if you are passing safety net now this is where a new zygisk module called shamiko or shamiko whatever you want to call it comes into the picture now do note that this module is not related to bypassing safety net again this zygisk module is not related to bypassing safety net this only hides your magisk root zygisk and zygisk modules now do note considering this is a zygisk module that means you do need to have magisk version 24.1 or above because starting from this specific version is when zygisk has been pushed to magisk next up for your safety net we do have videos for those those can be found in the description of this video another thing all the applications all the files whatever i'm using in this video are linked in the description of the video so this here is an application called yet another safety net attestation checker and as you can see my safety net is passing right now and that is because i am using a magisk module by k dragon called universal safety net fix video for that as i mentioned earlier is in the description of this video now in spite of this when i try to open this application called yono light which is a banking application it tells me that my device appears to be rooted and i cannot use it so this is where shamiko comes into the picture now how do you use shamiko so first of all this is the main page of magisk next up what we are going to do is we will go into the settings option here in what you need to do is make sure that this is enabled enable your zygisk beta then go into configure denial list here and select the application which you want to use in our case we want to use this yono light sbi make sure it is checked and then go back you do not and i repeat you do not have to enable the toggle to enforce denial list again do not enable this toggle even though even though shamiko is using this configured denial list list you do not have to enable this toggle once this is done the next thing we are going to do is we are going to reboot our device and while our device is rebooting another super important thing to note before i forget is that shamiko is a closed source application and that is how it is going to be as per the developer so whether you want to use it or not is your personal preference now once we have enabled all those things we can go back into the magisk application and make sure that our toggle here is enabled going to configure denial list the yono light sbi app is check marked back on the home page of magisk go into modules here and select install from storage then tap on the three bar menu on the top left select your device's name and then go to the download folder and this is where we have the shamiko zygisk module all you need to do is select the zip file and once the module has installed successfully go ahead and reboot your device now back into android we can unlock our device go back into the magisk application and herein we will perform the same validation so one more time make sure nothing has changed zygisk enabled configure denial list yono spi application is checked go into modules shamiko is also installed and active now if i open the application it will still give me the error and that is because we are missing one important thing or another validation which apps have these days which is the magisk app being installed so which is why at the beginning of the video i told you that shamiko is hiding magisk root zygisk and zygisk modules it is not hiding the magisk app which is what we need to do next so go into the settings and here in select hide the magisk app give it whatever name you want to give it let us give it the name hide and then we are going to say okay and this here is me ui so if you have any issues with hiding the magisk app we do have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of this video so on the pop-up we will say install and at this point 
do you want to add a shortcut to the home screen we are going to say okay and say allow over here now the magic app has disappeared from my home screen and it has also disappeared from my application drawer i do have a new shortcut for magic in case i want to access it and if you go into settings you can access your zygisk you can configure your denial list and stuff and you can also configure your modules but the important thing to note over here is that the application which was not working should now be working after we reboot our device one last time so back into android unlock our device and let us go ahead and open the yono light application and this time around we should get no error the application is loading it will give me the error message that no sim is available but it is no longer detecting root whereas our device here is still rooted so we have the magic cap we have our modules which are installed we can go into settings and here in zygisk is there configure denialist has the yono light sbi app checked and there it is peeps that is how you use your banking apps hide the magisk app with magisk version 24.1 and above and of course using the shamiko app and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you